allowed to? Are we are we allowed to go check out another? Is there any other planets or like? Parts of the island, like there's, an, we, there's uh, an island that's X'd out on the map that we have no information. Whoa, on. Is, what's the name of it? Death Island. <laughs> let's go check it out. <laughs> let's go it's check out the 27 <laughs> Club Island. <laughs> Listen, I'm very down to go check out Death Island. Um, you asked about other islands on this planet, yeah. and, and from all you know, it's it's basically there's just military bases training here. They don't let the the Tiburonian government doesn't let civilians here this is strictly just for like military use so this is our last time we'll ever be able to come here yeah basically and, so um we find this ruby red bottle of wine <laughs> and this blood drip next to it into a, a um a snake's mouth what's another word for a snake Scor- serpent. S- serpent into a serpent's mouth right and then this chick uh, Eve comes up to us. You guys hear I'm going with this? No, I'm just kidding. Where's this going though, Max? Something <laughs> has to happen. I don't. I don't know what to do here. All right. Well, Ray asked about other islands. There are no other islands that you're aware of here, but there are other planets in the solar system. Okay. Well, how far is how far? I mean, we have a uh, basically you know another full day to go ahead and go do something. Is there any planets within uh, a distance where we can go check it out? Yeah. Uh, well, there's a. Uh, the the moon that's that's uh, orbiting the planet Falmor that you're on right now. Okay. Yeah, is another like command center for for the uh, navy. Okay. Is there so, any hot spots there for? And no, this is basically just like a base and a command center for this whole system. And there's like a high security prison here. Mm, it doesn't sound fun. No, we shouldn't go do that. <laughs> um, yeah. There's... That's, that's not reckless. Yeah. What else is on the menu? There's two other planets. There's one that is a... Uh, Isn't there like a Pleasure Dome planet? <laughs> kind of. Kind All right, of. sweet. Uh, so there's a planet that has uh, very, very tall mountains. They're like snow-capped. It's very extreme uh, geology here. It's like tall mountains, deep uh, valleys, huh. and canyons. Uh, and then within, hmm. it, nestled in between these snowy mountains, there are some... Uh, Canyons here that have like hot hot springs. Okay. Ooh, so uh, that could do you guys, like... Brutus and Huck? Do you guys feel like you I know lo- nice. lo- loading up and so the, go check it out? This, the hot uh, springs. The hot springs. That'd be nice. Little fucking you know. There's my not, back is killing me. There's my not back's really, always killing me. There's not really much um, booze there. No, there's not much. There's not like people Catnip? that live there. It's all like it's like basically just for tourists. So that'd be a good spot to go for us if we want to chill out. Right? Um, there's another place. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a space station that's orbiting that planet. Hmm. It's uh, interesting. It's uh, it, everything here is run by run by your government, but mm. uh, yeah, we don't want to. It's uh, it's shaped it's shaped like an hourglass. And it has like a, a disc in the middle where the two halves of the hourglass meet. Okay. And it, it's just a giant space station. Uh, it started as a like a shipping hub, as as like uh, your government started allowing in like visitors, it became kind of like a tourist trap for visitors for people Foreign who are people. coming and yeah. going from that planet with the snowy mountains yeah. and stuff. Okay, so uh, I still don't know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, and there's also like uh, yeah, like, so there's like do, to- tourist we just trap get in a stuff. Fight with somebody. <laughs> there's lots of tourists there. Well, the Taurus, that's some foreign uh, women. Um, and then... Maybe some mollusks. I mean, I'm down to check some gills out for sure. Yeah, let's yeah, go check then, it out. And this is, a, this is like a heavy shipping area in between, like, your... The Tiburonian government's controlled space and the rest of the galaxy. Okay. I don't know if you guys... I don't, maybe this is, like, a place you guys visited when you were, like, guppies or whatever. Yeah. Like, young... Like with your parents. I guess we should visit the tourist one then. It seems like the most so, fun. And then there's another planet that's like kind of like a temperate. It uh, is basically used for agriculture. Okay. There was like a uh, there was a settlement here when the the Tiburonians discovered this this uh, s- solar system. So there's basically like mammals and and birds that live here. And they just like take care of uh, agriculture. Boring. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is. It is. There's like a. 
There's so, like educate. Maybe you guys came here when you were kids too, because there's like an educational like farming villages, kind of like uh, Colonial Williamsburg. Okay. But the one thing is that uh, <laughs> because because this planet was kind of taken over by your government, there might be like some anti dude this shark is a, like sentiments here. I, we go to the tourist island. We got this gold. Let's go fucking let's, go let's to go, tourist I, island. Let's go to yeah. the tourist island. Get reckless. Or, yeah, let's I, I feel like I'm, I haven't stressed how much gold you guys have. We have a well, lot of gold. So I, I, fifty pounds of gold is equal to like nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You well, guys are sixteen years old. I want to have fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, we're we willing deserve to blow this. all of the money. <laughs> I want to eat really good tuna. Oh, uh, dude, we're gonna eat so good. Set the coordinates. Yes. Everyone, uh, I'm on it. Sh- yep. I'm on the computer. I'm getting right. coordinates. Okay. So we'll, we'll say that you guys left pretty much right after you were done exploring. So that's gonna get you there. You know, it flies overnight. You guys sleep in the ship, and you guys can be there early in the morning. All right. I'm just, yeah. yeah, just because starting to set space, the seeds on Tinder. Because you know? space. <laughs> what should Tinder be called in that world? Fender. <laughs> Fender. Yes, dude. Yes, I love it. So I, I'm up pretty much nice. half the night. I should be sleeping, getting my beauty rest. But, but you on, know how I am. But he's been call me the dog he's of the sea. He's been fucking you know? finning all night long. He's just been finning through finning Fender, <sighs> swiping through f- Fender, finning through how Fender. F- how did you fin so many people? All rights, no left. Fender Plus is totally worth the extra ten dollars. Any Tulum. And now we got all this gold. We should all probably. Send oh some my God, up. we got Tinder Plus Plus. <laughs> we got. We own Tinder, Tinder. now. <laughs> <laughs> we're at the island now, right? In yes, the we're at the island. You're, you're not the island. You're at the. the, the it's not an island. It's, it's not planet. Jamaica. The, yeah, I'm sorry. You're at the 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 planet planet Gora. All right, so we're on planet Gora, the tourist planet, or whatever. Yes. Okay. Uh, Gora. We're fingering on planet Gora. Just from what you guys might know of this from, from your life, you know, there's, like, cold mountains. There's lots of, like, snowboarding and winter sports. And then there's also these, like, hot springs in the in the canyons and stuff. And there's also, like, tours of this. Because, like, uh, where you're, especially you guys, you guys are all sea creatures. You're mostly just used to seeing water in some islands. You're not used to this kind of thing. Okay. So it is, like, a big draw. So Four. yeah, we're like really yeah. scoping out the scenery. We're so so, used so to Brutus, it. did you um, did you uh, get any uh, did you get any hold of your fendering? Did you get any girls to <laughs> yeah. meet us? Did I you mean, because if you just go by yourself, I'm gonna be really bummed. But no, did you I got, find us any? I'm working on something right now. I'll let you guys know soon. It takes a while to set the pace, you know. <laughs> well, I just my want... bio pretty much says like I just like to chill with my friends. Like my dad runs that dealership, you know, just like. Hey, you know what I mean? Like it's cool. Like. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, be no problem. I'm obviously. I forgot. You know, looking like I'm not interested in seeing any any fins because the only fin I want to see is in a picture in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> um, the one thing, speaking of the dealership, uh, you're very <laughs> familiar with the space station because that's where your dad's dealership is. The space station for this planet. Yeah. Oh, that's why it looked familiar. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're you're well you're well familiar with this planet. You might already have some matches here. Oh, I'll have to check. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, take all, all the other stuff. Yeah, I got mad matches here even from before <laughs> training. <laughs> um, so yeah, this space station has the your dad's dealership. Do you guys want to visit? I say. Yeah. 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 Let's go. I want to see where you. Uh, I want to see where you grew up. Yeah, I want to see you in this dealership party. Jeez, you've been talking about it, like for for months now. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've been talking about oh, my dad's dealership. This, my dad's dealership. That, my dad's dealership. This and that and whatever. Yeah. No, we're going to the tourist spot. Now, like you know, you guys heard enough about my dad's thing that he does. It's up to you guys. No, no. We're going to, I want to hang out with some chicks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We I want to see get, it through. We get I want to celebrate. Way. We did a good job on that <laughs> other planet. So. Just to be clear, you guys have a more. M- Something more valuable than you've ever had in your lives, lives. But you're just gonna leave it locked in the in the ship and so, go check for okay, chicks. Okay, there it is. Now I picked the. <laughs> so maybe you're it has saying to do that with the gold. We could the stash gold the gold is gonna get stolen at my dad's dealership. Oh no, your dad's dealership has shady written all over. We're gonna store the gold there. Just an idea. <laughs> all right, what do you guys got? <laughs> well, actually, maybe that might be a better idea than living in the ship since I picked up a vibe when we said that. Hmm. Well, there's some, like, weird fish around here, I feel there's like. There's a fishy around here with this weird fish. Should we fucking store in your dad's dealership? Malcolm? I mean, it sounds fun. To... What's your idea? 
I don't think we got to worry about it. Like, we got free money. If something happens to it, then whatever. <laughs> we should just try to spend it all in one night, honestly. <laughs> so we don't have to bring any we back. Have, I don't we think could have a hell of a time possible. that we'll never have That's again almost a lives. billion dollars, or is it a million? It's, it's almost a billion. It's almost a million. It's almost so, a million. So what kind of, uh, at this port where we're going to park our ship, what kind of, like, security is there? Is it, like... A legit port, or is it like uh, super sketchy where no. it's very well known for pirating? Uh, no, no, it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty legit port. There, there's like a military presence. So here. the military presence, there's security. Uh, I mean, we I have feel a military, like, we have a military ship. Yeah, so it shouldn't I, be an issue. I don't think it'd be an issue. Well, it almost looks like we, you know, are there for, on business, and they're not gonna, no one's gonna question us, right? Yeah. And what, I'm, the gold. and what I'm saying is, like, all right, so we're going to go get reckless. Obviously, we're going to take some, I think you guys need to load up your backpacks with uh, some of the gold. Yeah, and, like, yeah. we're not going to, we're not taking all of it. No. But we're definitely, you need your share. And we Finn hi- needs his. And we hide it as well as we possibly can with whatever we leave behind. We would hide as well as we can in the ship. Well, it's going to be in the safe. I feel like the safe's going to be secure enough. Our, uh. The way everything's all lined up, I kind of think like if no one has the passcodes, we're gonna. Ha- it's gonna take way too long for them to try and get in there. But I think, like, listen, in my outfit, I can't have the coins just in my in my pockets. Like, I gotta throw them in the backpack. So yeah, and plus, I think that will like you. You will hear the the coins like ringing around your pockets, right? I mean, you it's probably like hear the it backpack. The... We could wrap it and make it not sound like that. Wrap it in some sweatshirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got some sweatpants <laughs> in the back, so I mean, I got, extra, I, got a, I got an extra jumpsuit that I'm just gonna throw in there just in case, because usually I get the shits, and I, <laughs> I, I, I might have a massive blowout. Did you guys bring like civilian clothes? Or are you gonna be wearing like your jumpsuits? No, no, no. We, um, uh, we. Should we, we go? We not can, no, in our we're gonna, we should look like tourists. We should change our gear. Well, yeah. We have other coats that we didn't use on the island. Or should we use we our, our our uniforms to our advantage for the chicks? Like you know when you you know like if when you go off on a like a free day and you guys wear your uniforms and like all the girls are like oh there they are. Well, it depends because I've been to a few ports in my uh, in my other life and uh, some places you would have to wear your uniform. Oh okay. And then some places. You shouldn't because you would be taken. So should we, you think we shouldn't here? <laughs> so it depends. Because it sounds like if we own almost everything, like maybe not everyone likes the gov- our government then. You know what I mean? So maybe if we should. If you're trying to wrangle up some alt girls, they're yeah. not going to be about the uniform. Yeah, I'm looking but for. But if you're getting some preppies, girl, then. You said alt girls? Yeah, I want alt girls. I don't want no preps. Should we get in our no- out of our work clothes and get in yeah. our. Our re- regular normal clothes. Okay, let's our do hang it. Clothes. All right. Yeah. And you guys are at the space station? Uh, no, we're at the port. Oh, you're at, yeah, the, we're at the port. We're at the port of the tourist, tourist okay. spot. Yeah. So, so you guys landed, or like like where there's people. Yeah, but we have mili- not- but we have badges. So our our IDs are in our pockets. Yeah. If anything pops off, we'll be ready. And we're like, yeah, we're not in our work clothes. Uh, <laughs> we're in our civilian clothes. We're gonna go uh, enjoy our time. So we we pass through them. <laughs> Uh, obviously, yeah. uh, obviously, Finn's really getting ready to get reckless. I, yeah, so I can't you guys, get... you guys, uh, I'm imagining there's like a, it's basically shaped like an upside down bowl, and there's uh, ships flying in and out of there, huh. and that's where you're going to be docking. Oh, okay. Uh, so you guys are just flying in. Well, I mean, when we get into when we get into the uh, the flight zone, we should. We, I mean, we definitely have to make calm. I don't know. Does yeah. I, uh, I feel that it's too. either one of you guys want to just go ahead and communicate calm to let them know where we're landing and that let them know our stay. Yeah, I'll get on the horn. All right, thank you. All right, so uh, you're gonna call. Yep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, make uh, Planet Core officers. We are coming in, making sure that we are clear for a landing in the military parking. Uh, let's see. Copy. I think that your ship is called like the Ovo Thirteen. Ovo coming in, Ovo 13 coming in hot, copy. Copy, o- o- Ovo 13, uh, we, uh, we need your, uh, clearance number for this, uh, trip. Huck, what's the clearance number? It's, uh, 420333. 420333, copy. Ovo 13, I'm, uh, I'm not seeing that, uh, clearance number. Uh, did you use the hashtag before? Uh, copy, Ovo 13, uh, we're having some issues, uh, uh, can you repeat that number? Make me a, make me a bluff check, someone. Should I do it since I'm talking? Yeah. Yeah. Three plus ten. 
13. <laughs> uh, uh, copy of 013. Uh, permission denied. That number isn't checking out. Uh, Try this other one. I, I, I had two written down here. Bro. One second, please. <laughs> Um, it's, uh, 11321. Can you try and running, uh, 11321? Over? <laughs> oh, what are these guys gonna do to you guys? <laughs> oh, great. I knew something was Do coming. you guys want to turn around before they get pissed at us? I don't know what the problem is, but we might need to go back to base before we do this. We might throw a wrench in this cycle here, but... So you think I'm bullshitting? Or... Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Ovo 13, please... Please park your ship at the far end of the... Oh, great. We, we, uh, you guys think this is fishy? Well, what I'm thinking is... I think is there's something up here, we guys. Should, we could risk going back away from them, but they've already established that they know we're here. We so. gotta fucking make sure that risky. they can't see any of the fucking gold. The gold needs to, to come get look hidden in here. immediately. It's, you it's, still have the gold it's hidden. It's in the safe, right? And then there's none on us right now. All right, well, let's just land and just have them check out the ship, and as I don't think as, they would as long as go they, down there. Well, we don't have to let them in, right? This is like a, this is... They have authority the mil- over us. Yeah, they have authority over you guys. Bastards. <laughs> this all is right. all, yeah, everything, everything here is run by the military. Yeah, so just flip down, we'll just park, and they, we got nothing to hide. Like, uh, the <laughs> treasure is, like, there, but they, I don't think that they're going to be going down there. Well, let's fucking hope not. You guys land in this, in this... Docking space. Yeah, two officers approach the ship. They're wearing uh, higher ranks than you guys. Okay. Um, they, one is a walrus. Do we pick up a, a vibe like? One is a penguin. Oh, great. Oh, I'm gonna use my charisma and just good to t- uh, smooth talk them and be like, "Yo, come on in, boys. Yeah, just I'm gonna, come. I'm gonna check out the my... number. Make sure that we weren't uh, misreading it over the broadcast or whatever." Well, you guys don't have a number. I'm. <sighs> You guys weren't, like, oh. clear to land here. Well, listen, no matter what, um... We thought this is where we were supposed to go. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, all right, so, so, yeah. We were flying in. I thought this was... Let's just tell them that... So, the, they, they come in, and the penguin... We were please, just looking for a refuel, you know? They come in the what ship, the and fuck? the penguin is like... So, why was... going to fucking ask us to open our safe. I fucking what, know it. What was the uh, number you guys had? What is your business here? And then... Oh, great. So, now... Obviously, I didn't know I was lying at the time. I thought I was just giving a number because you asked for a number. So now, what do we <laughs> tell them? We're just here I for. We're just. We're, I just. We're just it. here to pick up girls. We're just on a well, little. Well, we day can't break, tell them right? that because we don't have clearance to land. So we gotta oh, just. Fuck. I think we gotta play ignorant here and just say that. Uh, we right. thought that this was where we were assigned to go next on our mission. I could use my word trickery to to like. Uh, I mean, what do you, what yeah, do you, what I is mean, your plan of attack here? They, I don't know what they, the if, situa- if they're just going to let us go once we play stupid because I'm worried about our gold and having our fun still. But that's, but I feel like Huck, Huck's kind of hanging in the back. Uh, the two officers are approaching us and they're saying, you don't have clearance for landing here. We said, yeah, I, do you I, guys I, try I pull, to lie? I pull, out, I pull out our, pa- I pull out our paperwork, uh, I'm looking at it. I'm saying I don't understand. I thought we had clearance. We just got done from this mission at this other this other spot. We still have like a day left where we have a day full of travel. Um, uh, Brutus looked at the fuel fuel tra- fuel gauges and noticed that we're really low. So I'm very sorry, but we uh, we made a mistake and we basically got to figure out a way how to fuel up so we can get back to base All right. tomorrow. All right, you roll me a bluff, Jack. <laughs> Ooh, that would be two zero total. Nice. Okay. What happens now? Finally, yeah. the penguin turns to you, and he's like, "Soldier, you guys are a long way from base. Is there uh, any other uh, fueling stations uh, right here at port, or uh, the, did we got to go to the other side of the uh, the planet? The closest military installation is uh, about thirty thirty miles from here." Or you could fly back if you have enough fuel to make it back to uh, Topaz Orbital. That's the space station that's orbiting. Uh, you could uh, fuel up there. All right. How many miles is Topaz? Uh, I mean, it, it's it's just it's orbiting the planet, so you'd be flying into space. All right, so I punch this guy in the face. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's that's me on. No, um, I'm I'm not around. You guys are talking to him. I'm in the back, right? I mean, Brutus, what do you think? Do you... Do we feel like we should go to the other side of the planet just to load up? I feel like maybe we could search. We could go to the other side of the planet to get gas, 
and check out like if there's any ways we could just sneak down and park somewhere like in the forest or like you said there's a lot of snow and a lot of well, stuff. And and you guys, and this guy's great at piloting. Just so. for the record, you guys don't need gas. That was Ray lying about needing gas. That was Malcolm so, lying. So I say we, so we, we, we make leave. it look like we, yeah. yeah, we just leave and get out of their hair, right? you know. I say we make it look like we split, but then kind of coast the parts that aren't covered by military and see if there's a way into that area. Yeah, and he yeah. He, he goes. <laughs> Rookies, right? And he turns to the walrus. And the walrus comes over and he's like, I was in your guy's shoes once. <laughs> Here, let me let me let me help you out and I'll punch that in your computer. Nice. And he punches the, the location the of the nearest yeah. yeah, the coordinates of the nearest base in your uh in your ship's computer. Well and I guess and, we should be on our way they there. Leave. Thank yeah, you very much. We're on our way. Yeah, and they, they exit the ship and uh but you're still parked there. So we're, and so we're still just trying to get down and party and, and get back to base because we have time to kill. Because um, okay. basically if we get caught with uh, – it, it's called gonna... UA. It's like unauthorized absence. If we get caught, we get court-martialed and we're screwed. And don't you think if that happens, they'll definitely find the gold? Yeah, they'll definitely yeah. will. So All right. I drew I drew this map of where where you guys are in relation to the rest of everything. This is like the entire galaxy. You'll have to imagine the blue thing are all stars and stuff. The bottom right. That's is, where we were at? Yeah. And then that, that bigger blob there is like the rest of the galaxy that isn't controlled by your government. All right. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to give you guys. Yeah, yeah, I, I have some kind of image in my brain now. And then, and then back further into like deeper into space away from the rest of the universe is where your home planet is from. Where your home planet is. So, did we find these girls at the hot spring, right? Or no, that didn't happen? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, yeah, you guys... You guys. <laughs> I mean, we gotta get a little fucking playtime in, right? Alright, so it's... it's, uh, it's I mean, I want to see Brutus make out at least with it's somebody. A, it's that evening, so you guys find a place to park uh, deep within a canyon. Nice. And uh, it's, a, it's a hike. It's a hike up to where you, you saw the hot springs as you were... Which is well worth it. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you're parked, you're basically parked on, like, a riverbed in this canyon, but okay. you're, like, all, off to the side, I guess. There's, like, some, but there is some right, vegetation. So yeah, so it's a good a secluded spot for yeah. us to be hidden, well hidden, in, but, and then we approach the hot springs, and there's some... Yeah, some you take a hike up to the hot sharks springs. and and maybe even... I mean, there's all sorts of all sea sorts life. Of, okay. all is, sort, is there any it, other males there? Is it, I mean, I picture, I'm just picturing, we just found this fucking... There's one male females. lobster, but he's just, like, scurrying <laughs> around in the back. No, there's a pretty buff, there's a pretty buff lobster. Is he DJing? Uh, <laughs> Scratching. There's, like... There's there's a, a seagull strutting around. Coincidentally, it's like a spring break time, so there's people here from like. It's and me and M Malcolm just high five and go. This place is awesome. Yeah, there's um, there's not just sea life there. There's like a there's like a female deer, mm. and uh, some. We've never got to really chill with the female deer before. There's, a, there's some swans. It's a nice doe. Ooh, there's swans. <laughs> it's nice <Dough>. doe. <laughs> there's like a, a. I like that. A golden pheasant and some quails and some uh, a couple goat babes. Is there any a. Uh, Gambling going on. Yeah, because we're trying to let loose. Yeah, we gamble, have a drink, you know, maybe cop a dance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you guys bring any of the gold with you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just Duh. in your back. Not the whole. We're, we're about to have this whole place in our pocket. We brought so much gold with us. This whole section is kind of more out of the way. It's not like it's it's, a, it's more like um, kind of like a by vo like a word of mouth spot, like secret like pleasure spot. Yeah. Yeah, just some bar Let's spot. get them all a drink. Let's get a round of drinks going for everybody. Yeah, let's fucking it. Yeah. Let's buy let's everyone a round of drinks. Well, what are we drinking? Yeah, there's like a bar in the middle of this hot spring. And where the bar is, there's some uh, gambling tables. Yeah, sure. Get a couple of Sudweisers going. <laughs> some Sud. Everyone, everyone's happy. Everyone's drinking. Sud Light. We're actually, we're, we're uh, actually breaking Malcolm's bread drinking with one again. of the frogs yes. from the commercials. There's a whole group of frogs here. All uh, right. Just as long as there are no toads. <laughs> no toads. No, you Good. haven't seen any toads. They're bad luck. Um, so are you are you guys busting out the gold to pay for this stuff? Uh, I think we should try and keep the gold like uh, not seen really as much as possible. I mean, obviously we, we have, that's how we have to pay for shit, right? Is there a way to every like, once in a while? Let's just run to the bathroom, st stick right? into the backpack, put put our pockets full, walk back out like nothing happened. All right. So yeah. And, and is there a chip system? Uh, what do you mean? For the gambling. 
like a like a place to cash in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a little there's a so, little cash. Uh, what is that? You like guys, color? you guys go and and uh, fill, you know, do the thing so no one sees it. I take some gold and uh, you know, on the hush, exchange it for a whole bunch of chips. Sitting there in in the uh, teller booth is a wombat. It's a male wombat, and he's just like, you, "What? How can I help you?" Uh, well, first let's start off and tip this guy a couple chips, and uh, we, we want well, right we, now. You just have your gold. So I give him, um, what do for? Four gold chips get me. Four gold coins get me. How many Four chips? Four gold coins gets you like twenty five hundred credits. All right, so that's like a lot, but not like because we don't want to go too crazy, right? You know, we actually want to win, you know, and use that money, like because we don't want to expose the gold so much. So we give him that. <laughs> we start. We start light right there, right? We get twenty five thousand chips, right? I split it between the three of us. Oh, that was nice of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I, I give you guys chips. Now we're all. Uh, we bought everyone yeah. drinks. And it's a nice We're night gambling. Of, of gambling. You're smoking. fraternizing with the locals. We're smoking their there's, local tobacco, getting wacky. There's people from from solar systems that you've never been to before. Oh, okay. So there's we're conversating. Here. We're hearing crazy yeah. stories. We're They're, fucking making out with girls. You rode your you wore <laughs> you wore your uh, just your street clothes. Yeah, we're in yeah. our street clothes. Yeah, I I was. Kicking it with this uh, bilingual starfish. She was sick. <laughs> so this, <I> mean, <laughs> she was a star. <laughs> uh, so, so, so what's your major? Well, my major is kind of like, uh, well, we all have these positions. Uh, and um, my uh, favorite position it would be uh, laying on top of you. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, How does she react? What? She slaps you with her starfish arm. I don't know if they're starfish. But it's like an Italian arm. love, like yeah. Uh, no, so it's no. a good slap. So it's like she punched you square in the face, which fucking just gets him even more fucking into her. Oh my god. So <laughs> I guess I guess you like that answer. So yeah, we're uh, my friends and I. Uh, this is uh, Huck. This is Brutus and. Uh, we're actually uh, just getting done with our training. We just finished. I'm not supposed to say anything, but we just finished this mission, and we got like 24 hours. Mission for what? Uh, and her name happens to be Maisie. Maisie. Maisie oh. the star. Okay. So she asked, "What mission?" Yeah. Uh, it's classified. I can't really talk about it. Oh. Let Let's just say um, we're guys, doing important work. You guys are in the military. You uh, could say something like that. We're in a company. Uh, My dad be. owns a dealership. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we were actually going to go to that dealership, but we decided to come here instead. And, uh, you know, we're winning money. We're drinking. We're meeting Maisie here. We're having a good time. Um, yeah, I mean, after this, I'm, I'm, just going back. I'm just going back to school. I'm only here for a few days. Then I'm heading back to... Uh, yeah, we're only here for uh, the night. We're leaving in the morning. So, um, well, yeah. Ma Maisie, what are you going to school for? Uh, I'm, uh, uh, business. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like, so you're here for pleasure then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. Let me, let, take a step back a second. Yo, Maisie, do you got any friends? Do you have any other friends that you could, uh, hook up, uh, my friend Brutus and, uh, Huck? Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to... To hang, I don't really want to. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys? Do you have any friends for us? Uh, fuck. I don't know what. Well, I don't I know what's going on. I anymore. start dancing. Role play, damn it. Come on, Role get play. into I it. I start dancing a little bit. Yeah, she. She starts dancing with him. She goes, she and, points, and like leaning up on she Malcolm. Points, she points over the bar and. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I got it. I got it. <laughs> there's a seagull, and there's, there's a, a cardinal over on the other side, and she waves at them. And, and they kind of they giggle. They giggle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, okay. A seagull and a cardinal. I call the cardinal, wink, wink. You guys know that, like, I really not. Yeah. All right, so what <laughs> let's just say it's a crazy night. <laughs> okay, All so right. we're raging. The, yeah. the six of us are totally we actually getting loose. We actually all get our fins wet. Yes. Yeah, you guys are in the hot spring taking a dip. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're get, we're 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 uh, you know we're really loosening up because you know we we did a lot of work you know. All right, so you're back at uh, so it's the next day. What are you guys doing? You wake up. Where do you guys sleep? 
Well, I mean, all right, so well, maybe I ended up passing out on the, on yeah, the hammock we, on we the have, beach. We make it back to the ship. I was gonna say maybe like all right, so you woke up at the on the hammock on the beach. Yeah, I woke up at Maisie's sister's house <laughs> in, in her hotel. The car, the cardinal, and and the seagull. I don't know where my shirt is. Brutus wanders out of the uh, hotel, and he sees uh, Huck passed out in the hammock. Malcolm, where did you sleep? I fell asleep on the uh, park bench because Maisie got really mad at me and just decided to leave me there. So I froze the whole night. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The park bench? Yeah, yeah, the park bench. Yeah, and I I think uh, Brutus sees you on his way. All right, so Brutus... Brutus Looking rough, brother. Oh, yeah, it was quite not awesome. Let's all... uh, need some coffee. Let's let, let's get back to the ship. Yeah, we let's, gotta get uh, back to the ship. We shouldn't have fucking. We should have been there last night. How much, how much gold do we got? Yeah, the ship say, unattended that Finn, night. Finn, where's your bag? Br- I don't see Brutus's backpack either. I have mine right uh, here. Attach me. Where's my gun? Where's my weapon at? You I kept my weapon in my I back pocket. I don't know pocket. what happened to it. I guess. Wait, so you oh seriously lost your bags? I don't even know where. I honestly, I don't, don't even have. Where. I don't even know my shirt. Wait, went. where did the gold? You guys have any gold coins left? Where are the nah. chips at then? No chips either. I didn't do oh well. I think you, you pull a chip out of one of your gills or something. <laughs> oh my god! This is only this is only a dollar chip. What happened? That we we won like a like a thousand hundred dollars last night. Brutus, why do you have a Mike Tyson tattoo on your face? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know where any of my Wait, shit is. Wait, hold on. All right. I think we need a spot. I think we need, I think we need to be a spot check here. Spot what is this? check for what? Well, I want to know what. Uh, I just like, pulled a flounder out of my fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yo, you guys gotta w- promise you don't tell anybody about this. All yeah, right. what happens? They cannot know I had a flounder up in me. What happens on Gora stays on Gora. <laughs> yeah, and uh, let's just uh, say I was uh, exploding last Hand, night. <laughs> everyone, hands in the middle. Hands in the middle. Yeah, yeah what I happens in Gora right, stays so. in Gora. All right, let's done. get some coffee. Let's do All right. It. Yeah. Uh, so, what are you, are you guys heading back to the ship? Yeah. Yeah. We 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 noticed that uh, there's a package next to uh, our ship, and in that package, I open it up, and it is uh, the remaining chips from last night, and there only seems to be twenty five grand what we ended up having in the beginning. What? <laughs> Who put it there? <sighs> I don't know, but it, there's a note on it that says Dash PJ. <laughs> PJ's not here. Then she sent it somehow through the cloud. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you guys can't find your gold. Yeah, but everything's missing, right? Is, there, is the gold still in the, the ship? Gold, the gold is still in the ship. So, okay. Yeah, we, we just lost, so it, we just lost some gambling We lost last like 5,000 of them. Yeah, yeah you, guys, 25, you guys, you know, only a few coins is worth like thousands of dollars. You guys are doing pretty well. Yeah, I mean, and we paid for everything last night. Everyone had a great time. Yeah. All right, cool. Good seeing you guys. <laughs> so, are you flying back to the base? Yeah, I mean... Are you going to uh, stop off at Tyler's dad's dealership? No, nah, I think we don't got much time left. So. No. And we're going to head... Uh, this is our last time together, because we're all going to get our uh, destinations, and uh, well, we're going to get our papers for our next uh, spot. So, at least we went out with a bang. You know what I mean? I think uh, I'm just a little what are you guys nervous doing about with the heading gold? back because of the gold. Yeah, because like I really want to keep this like this going. You know, this good fortune we have. Do you want to, Brutus? Do you want to split up the gold like three ways? So I've been doing some uh, thinking throughout this whole experience, <laughs> and I know that military service is mandatory, but I've conducted a plan where I'm gonna remove myself from this. I'm gonna go take all the gold. I'm gonna go hide it, and I'm you're gonna hear from me in about a year. And we'll split it evenly from there. I promise I will protect it. How do we know that this is going to work out? You guys are just going to have to trust me. We're going to have to I take... Mean, we got to take at least a coin, a, a coin or two to keep so we can, you know, have some pocket money. If you they won't think that, that you can get it back, then take as much as you want, and I'll, I'll make sure that we all take the split. I mean, I can, I can store mine in my mouth easily. So... There's a secret tunnel that my grandpa told me about on this way before he got hit by a boat. And uh, he was telling me, so oh I think God, I can I remember make it reading out. about that. I rem- yeah, I think I can make it out of here. Where? I'm going to... You're just going to live on this You guys planet? just have to tell him that I got killed by the hamfish. You don't want to get dropped off at your dealership? 
I think that they'll be looking for me there. I'm going to have to lay low for a while. Yeah, that's the it's going to take about a year. It's the first place they would look for him. And I think my dad knows what I was going to do, so. So we concoct this plan. But I have a feeling that me and Malcolm are in like, a year, well, you guys will be honest, pretty pleased me and, with my Me and Malcolm are like kind of questioning it, but at the same time we look at each other and we're like, well, what else are we going to do? This, we've is, all, this we've, is the plan, I guess. This I mean, is the plan we have. We went through basic together. We had a time of our lives. I kind of feel like it's I have It's not that we don't trust, trust him. No, it's I just have a, trust. It's, no, yeah, it's not yeah. that we don't trust you. It's just like, okay, it's a far-fetched plan, but that's we got no other if, option. If I don't do that, we don't get to keep this money. And this money, when you guys finish your thing, you'll be set. And the whole time, you've been like, you, you've been, I wanted you, to bring you've this up. been wanting to get away. Like, you, yeah. you know what I mean? I, w- I didn't want to bring it up during the chum ball tournament because I thought we had such a good thing going. I didn't want to. And, and he's like, I don't want to make you guys think about my bummed. deal. He's super bummed. That he, like, we're super bummed he's leaving because this pact we did and all we just went through. But, like, it's. This this is what has to happen, and this is what and, I gotta and we're do. we're gonna meet him in a year, and we're gonna fucking we're gonna go from there. You guys will hear from me when you least expect it. All right, so I think you guys fly Brutus to this cave that you uh, that you know about from your grandpa, and uh, surprisingly, it's there. Yeah, it's the there. My yeah. grandpa told me it would be there before he got struck by that dinghy, so I'm telling you, I I can't do anything but trust him. That was a really he was a wise man. Newspaper. Um, yeah, so you're parked outside of this cave. I think it is in the base of one of these hot spring canyons. Uh, what are you, what are you getting left with? What are you getting dropped off with? I mean, do you, do you want to just, you want us to help you, uh, grab the supplies that you think you need? You help know, me carry down the treasure chest? The, I'm yeah, gonna rip, yeah. I'm, I'm going to rip up, up some of my suit for you guys to take back and say that you recovered from when I died at the Hamfish place. We're gonna and, need uh, some blood on yeah, it. Yeah, do you so wanna? Because they, they're gonna wanna test it. Finn, do you mind? Uh, here, slice me right here. Sl- Let's just get it over I'll with. Slice uh, Brutus open. <laughs> Let's just yeah, get it over I with. I just do one of these, like, kind of weird. You know what I mean? I do that. You have to describe kind of, what you're doing. So basically, like, I I put my razor sharp teeth just on his his uh, his fin, and then I move my jaw as fast as possible, cutting his, his and shredding open his skin, gushing out blood onto his uh, ripped up uniform. Ah. <laughs> and then he does a shot of bud. What do, do we you, call it? What do you? So bud you, sud. And you're leaving him with a bunch of uh, equipment here. Yeah, he's got weapons, food, equipment. Yeah, just he, he, he knows, got no GPS, no trace. Everything he needs to uh, disappear for a year. And you guys will be hearing from me when you least expect it. I'll tell you that much. All right. So I think Brutus is standing in the mouth of this cave. He waves to you guys as you guys fly out into the distance. We do this, right? Yeah, we salute. Right hand. Okay. You yeah. guys. I, I feel the urge to cry, but I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys return. Return. It's a long flight, but you guys make it back uh, on time uh, in the morning. Uh, no one suspects anything. Sitting on the launch pad is San Kibo. Uh, he's he's standing there watching over and and greeting all the all the squads that are coming back. So what do you you guys approach? Well, we we approach and um, not not to sell it, but because we have to break the news, I I get emotional and start crying a little bit and um, hand over the the bloody uniform. And it's like all folded up. It's all folded up yeah. in, in somewhat of a, a triangle shape. Uh, uh, uh. I look at San Cubo and I say, fortunately. Uh, while we were out at uh, out in the island, I don't know what happened, but um, Bruce got very sick, and then somehow I don't know. We kind of left him right by the ship when we went to go investigate, and something happened to him, and he's not with us anymore. Uh, he's gone on to another life, and this is our radio wasn't working, so we didn't have a chance to report it. All right, you guys. You guys are gonna have to make an excellent bluff check for this. Oh, fuck, I knew it. Uh, if if one of you wants to assist the other, so I help Ray. Yeah, you have to roll. You have to get at least a ten. At least, at least a ten. Okay. Yeah. Come on, big drink. Yes. What is it? Sixteen. Nice. Seventeen. Oh. Damn, that should have been the that should have been the roll. <laughs> um, all right. Is the, yeah. So Ray, you're getting a you're getting a plus with your plus two and a plus two from uh, Huck, assisting you with and his he, with his tears. And what does he have to get? 
Uh, he has to roll good. Fifteen. So plus two plus two is nineteen. Yeah. What is that? B B B B Big Daddy B B. I don't know what I'm saying. So San Kibo. I hand I hand I have the garment right here to him in a triangle shape. And I have my hands like this and my head down. What like what would he respect. say to you? Like um, um what would a what would a commanding officer say to you in this moment? Um, San Kibo would probably look, look me dead in my uh, eyes and say. Uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, you know, Brutus has passed. Um, sure, he was a great shipmate, and um, if anything, t- did you complete the mission as uh, what was stated for you to do? Answer, Hawk. Yes, we we completed the mission, and um... do you hand over like the data pad with all the in- relevant information in it? Do we trust Sam? He, yeah, he. Like... So then we we mentioned the the the. The massacre. Oh. And we also mentioned that it could be our people. Uh, our, s- in our company. So, yeah, or, he, he accepts the data pad. He hands it over to one of his assistants or, you know, an, uh, another officer. He hands over uh, Brutus's. He hands over Brutus's uniform, bloody uniform to another officer. And as you told him about the massacre that you guys found during the de- debriefing, yes, he uh, he goes, "Privates, you were supposed to annihilate any threat that you saw. Is there a problem?" No, there's not a problem. The problem lies somewhere on this base, from what we gathered. Well, Private Finn, that was your mission, uh, Officer. To <laughs> assess any threats and eliminate them. There, there were no threats, Officer Kibo. Uh, as uh, we handed you the data and uh, we have evidence, um, we felt that there was zero threats on the island. And uh, we did come in contact with some locals, but uh, they were there was good uh, communication. We even assisted one of their children in getting better after what looked like another laser pistol mark was on their arm. But that wasn't from us. So you two are telling me you assisted these savages? We uh, we helped uh, the savages help- that that killed your friend. No, they didn't kill our friend. These these uh these people were 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 killed, I believe, by our own people, our people, and we did not find them as threats at all. In fact, they needed help, and we gave the help, and we documented everything, and we're reporting back to you to tell you. Is that there there's a problem something- with your mission? I thought the mission was clear. We're letting you know the information. Our mission is clear, and now it you take the information and do whatever you want with it. But we believe it. It. it the next step is to find out what's going on here. We're ve- we're very well aware of what's going on here. Dismissed, and he, you know, he About, signals okay. you guys to beat it. Okay. So, uh, Huck and I uh, about face because we're standing right next to each other. And we just walk very quietly, staring at each other, but kind of eyeballing, like... Some, we know something's going on. Yeah, something's definitely going down. All right. And, and at the same time, we, we know that we also, because we, we brought this information to them and we, we made it clear we know that something's going on, we also threw off them totally about our treasure. Yeah, so it's the next day. It is your final day on this base. Uh, there is a... Funeral held on the pad for Brutus, Brutus the Manatee. Uh, you know, it's a full military style funeral. His, uh, I guess, would they would they throw his would they throw his uniform overboard, or would they have a co- uh, empty coffin or something that they we, would throw? Overboard? There would be a, a sh- I would bring out a shiny hubcap. <laughs> to play on his his coffin <laughs> okay. from his dad's, uh, you know. Oh, from his dad's dealership. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. You know what, Finn? Yeah. That's a very good idea. I mean, There's it may not coffin. be from the dealership, but it res- it resembles his relationship with the dealership that he loved with his father. Yeah, and and uh, treasured so much. And he spoke about the goddamn dealership every fucking day. Yeah, there's yeah, <laughs> there's he a reference a dealership twenty four seven. There's an empty coffin sitting on the deck <laughs> with a with a. Uh, Tiburonian army crest across the top of it. You lay this hubcap on it, and it is uh, 
it is thrown overboard into the ocean as uh, there's a 21 laser gun salute into the sky. <laughs> it's uh, it is, like always, it is a beautiful sunset here on this island. And uh, from this funeral, you guys are moving on, uh, getting on your next transport ship and heading out to continue your your mandatory military career as you fly this ship into the sunset. There's no telling where you guys are going next. Any last words? And just remember, we, I'm still wait, here. Not you. We're, not we're, you yet. Hold on. To you. So me and Ray are together, or we're getting separated yeah, now? Yeah, you, you, two are, you two end up being together. So we, we're leaving together. So we, we just... Uh, we look like fucking uh, Matthew McConaughey at the end of um, The Interstellar. Like, prepared, focused... This a fucking mission has only just begun. Something shows that, like a coin shows with the fucking indent and the eye draw. Like we have little um, souvenirs almost from the whole island, and it shows like you know that we're not letting this story rest. I think it's a shot of you guys sitting in your in your transport ship, and it pulls out of the window, and you see the ship zoom. Yeah, hit hit light speed as it as it uh, zooms out o- over the sunset. Uh Cut to yes, Brutus. dripping rocks, dank conditions inside this cave. It's always dank conditions at my cave. We see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we nah, I'm up. living pretty good. It's a modest life, but I got to hold on to this treasure for a year, just to survive and wait for my boys to come back. That's we all see it is. in the corner of the cave. We see this treasure chest. It's like half buried, half covered it with uh, some of your your ration boxes that they left for you. And it pans over to you. What are you doing? Well, every day that goes by, I just count those days down. I put one coin in the empty rations box every day, keeping track of when my boys are going to come back and we're going to be set for the rest of our lives. And that's how it is. Okay. It ends with a shot of... It ends with a shot from space going down into... Seeing the water, you keep going down, down, down to the shiny hubcap, and inside the hubcap, I put a gold coin. something exciting gonna happen. (laughs)